Hello, hello, and welcome back to Starshine Legacy Episode 1, Mystery of the Soul Riders. This is part 6, I believe. So we are close to wrap up, wrapping up this episode uh, of the game. I don't like how they call it episodes, but anyway, uh, we're on, <laughs> we're on uh, level 6. I, I want to say episode 6 and I want to say chapter 6, but it's level 6. The Woods. Something is haunting Lisa in the dark woods rapidly. There is no time for safe riding now. And when wherever the path leads them, it has got to be better than being caught by the thing following them. Ooh, it sounds almost like a ghost, but that's a dark rider. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess that's a bean. Yeah, it is. She's the red dark rider. And she's the villain of the story. So, I mean, yeah, that must be Sabine. <laughs> um... A fast, dangerous, and treacherous road awaits Lisa and Starshine, and Lisa can only trust her instinct to let him loose. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, you're coming right away! I don't like being chased. I guess I'll just follow the road. Oh, okay, eyes on the road, eyes on the road. <laughs> Sharp turn. Why doesn't... Oh, that was a star. I can't turn back and take it because I'm going to get caught. Oh, did you hear that sound? Probably not. I'm going to turn on the sound, uh, gameplay sound of this video. So you might not have heard that, but that was a creepy sound. Uh, where do I go now? Oh, okay. I'll just follow this, I guess. Ah! I lost because of that? Really? So if you jump in the water, we just get caught instantly? Is that realistic? <laughs> well, it's an old game. I can't blame him, but... Okay, n don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. I'm just too used to asses so being like, oh, you fall in the water, you have three seconds to get out. <laughs> okay, there, there was the creepy sound again. I don't even know where I'm heading. <gasps> what? She was right there. Where am I going? That was so creepy. <laughs> that was genuinely scary. She was right there. Why didn't she catch us? I need to start using like that map thingy in the corner, left corner. Because I probably would have seen that she was there if I used it. I don't know if she was uh, marked on that map, but that would probably be <laughs> more, a little bit more helpful. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> No, <laughs> that was not my intention. She just rode straight past me though. Oh, okay, I'm not starting from the beginning. Okay, thank you. Oh, the rocks are rolling down. Oh, there are falling rocks. This is not fair. This is actually really hard because of the controls and all. And Starshine takes so long to actually turn. Why are you standing there? That is creepy. <gasps> ah! Oh no! What? What? I wasn't even given the chance. Oh, so now I'm starting off from the beginning. Okay, sure. Let's try to take a shortcut. I don't know if the- Oh, there's actually a trail here, so that might work. That's not fair. She was standing right there. For no reason. She was, she was just camping and waiting for me. Can she teleport? No, only Anne can do that. The Dark Riders can teleport, right? But that is terrifying. I don't even know if this was a shortcut. I feel like it was shorter earlier, but... Okay, come on. We have to beat this level at some point. 
Let's get this star. I don't know where she is right now. She's not marked on the map. I can hear some creepy sounds. Oh no. Oh, turn. <gasps> okay, now she's she's right there. How does she get here? She does not follow the road. I'm telling you, she's teleporting. How? I'm looking at the map now, by the way. Or I don't I can't even call it the map because it's not a map, but the navigation thing where I can see where Sabine is. And she's not marked on it right now, so she shouldn't be close. But I mean, I've outrun her and then she still just shows up right in front of me. And earlier she just randomly showed up here. I don't get it. But now we have outrun her, right? She can't, she can't catch up. No, she's behind us. <gasps> no, no, no. Are you joking? I can see her right there. But it's, it's not possible. How did she get there? It's not fair. This is not realistic at all. I mean, she can't get past? Oh, okay. Well, it's very fair then, <laughs> I guess. As long as I win, that's the most important thing. She shouldn't be teleporting like that. So? We're in the secret stone circle now, nice. The cloak rider didn't follow us here. Um, no, she didn't. But she kind of teleported along the way, so I guess. <laughs> Uh, the rider is stopping by the edge of the abyss. Good for us. What is this place? It looks strange and ancient. Look, on the stone. Uh, on that stone. What are those pictures? Is that a picture of me? Yeah, that will be the soul riders and the guardians. But the thing on the top... Um... What is that? I mean... I know there are like some horse people in um, another game. I'm not going to spoil, but okay. I probably shouldn't talk about that because that could be a spoiler for later games if you haven't watched it before, anyone else doing it, or if you haven't played it yourself. But we're going to find that out. I'm going to talk about this again if uh, when we play that game. I don't know, Starshine. This looks like uh, this looks strange. It looks like us, but then again, not. I must show this to the other girls. Yeah, level 6 completed. That's it. That was this level. That was much harder than I thought it would be. Like, how fair is it that Sabine... Uh, she she literally teleports. Uh, I mean... Did you... I have footage! You Did you see that? She just suddenly showed... Suddenly she was just there, even though we'd outrun her. Does that happen to everyone? Or is that a bug or something? Because... That's not fair. <laughs> and it's really creepy. I'm telling you, this is like a horror game. And with the soundtracks and everything too, the soundtracks are really good to be honest, but it's really creepy when the villain just suddenly pops up before your face when you're trying to outrun them, they're hunting you. I don't know what she wants to do with us, probably kill us, but it's creepy. And then there's the creepy music as well. So this is basically a horror game for girls and it's, really scary <laughs> honestly so uh but yeah this is the end of this part i hope you're tuning in tomorrow to see what happens next um i'm not really sure what happens next to be honest we'll see we'll see together so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did i'll see you around bye